Hey, what's up guys, it's Freeze here. The last few days I was kinda turned on for another one of Gothic and I started researching a bit of how to install it the right way in 2023 with uh, nice graphics, shaders, bug fixes, new quests plus a ton of mods and now I wanted to share it with you guys so you can also enjoy a remastered Gothic with new features and jump back into the colony. This guide will be cut into a few steps. I'm gonna start uh, explaining the main files which include the main patches, bug fixes, a big mod plus the shader renderer and after that I will show you the installation process of those and then we will have a closer look into some mods and some settings in the config files. As I said before we will start with the patches, like we have here the three first patches you need to install normally. But if you have the Steam version installed, you can skip this part because those are already installed in the Steam version. If you want to make sure, you can install it on top anyway, it doesn't break anything, so you're free to do so. But like I said, if you have the Steam version, you can start with the player kit 2.8. Just go here to the green link down below, click that one and just download. Then we have the next one, the large address awareness hack. Gothic was limited back in the day because of hardware reasons, so... With our PCs now we can just uh, extend that to 4 gigabytes, and yeah, just download this one as well. Then the next one is Union, also known as the System Pack 2.0. Just download this one as well, it has a lot of bug fixes and other stuff, so I would uh, recommend that. The next one is uh, Ninja, we need this one for a few, a few mods and feature patches, so the, these can be used. Just download here the X file and you're good to go. The next one here is uh, optional. Like, yeah, this one is optional. Um, that's the definitive edition. I choose that one for me because I fitted my needs the perfect way, as I will say. It has also a lot of bug fixes, a few gameplay changes, like uh, cut content uh, has been added again. And yeah, you can have here the full edition. This is a smaller edition in English because it's, it is um, a beta right now, but there are ways to to make the full version into it, into a English version without losing any content. So just download the first one here. And then we go to the next one. This is the Gothic 1 community patch. This one has also a lot of bug fixes and stuff like that. And then we have the community patch plus, which uh, does this similar things like the first patch um, like the first community patch but this one focuses on like graphical graphical issues and meshes stuff which, which got fixed then the last one here is the renderer just download this one again like all the world of gothic links are you have to download always here down below just click it and the download starts automatically uh, that's the part for the for the main patches so we will jump to the installation part now Okay, here I have a clean Gothic 1 installation for you, like I have uh, nothing added up until now. This is just how it, uh, how it, uh, it does come from Steam. You have the player kit and the system pack 1.8 already installed. Uh, what I recommend is always start up the game after the first installation, or maybe change your resolution or change any preferable uh, settings you want to have. And yeah, just load into the game, so all the config files from the for the game will be created and stuff like that. So we are just finishing those, maybe some more gore, the mouse sensitivity and everything you need. And yeah, just start up a new game. Just to see if uh, everything is working. I'm Diego. Yeah, that looks, uh, looks alright so far. Yeah, FPS looks also great, so that uh, should be perfect install here. And then we can close up the game again and continue with the actual installation. I have uh, downloaded all the files here already. We got here the player kit 1.8 and the system pack 1.8 at uh, number 2 and number 1. You can skip those like I said if you have the Steam version installed, but I will I'll just show it to you, you can install it anyway, it doesn't break anything. So where you should start is uh, number 3, player kit 2.8. We just uh, choose your, our gothic folder, like always. You always choose the gothic folder, the main folder, except for this one, the large awareness hack. Here we need to choose the system folder inside of the gothic folder, just to make sure we have that. And if you chose that, we click all the 6 uh, gothic x files, like gothic mod, gothic x, and gothic backup, just to make sure. If you have that, just exit it again and this uh, should be good to go. 
and we just continue with uh, number five union so i just installed this one as well like the other ones before continue with ninja then the definitive edition and then the community patches so up until there it is just the same process just uh, with the number 10 we have a few differences we have another step we need to make there so i will jump to that one um here like i said we just installed it choose again the gothic folder just install the file when it is uh, completed installing then uh, we need to visit our gothic folder where we have installed everything here is a new folder bonnie author or something like that we need to uh, we need these files copy them out or you can you can also just cut them out it doesn't matter and then you need to put uh, those files into your system folder just uh, paste them inside and uh, you should be good to go here as well for the main part we are pretty much done now if you don't want uh, any mods or more changes you can just start playing the game now but i will now continue adding mods and uh, doing a few changes in the config file here are a few of my mods which i will be adding the vdf files all go into your data folder but some mods are needed to go elsewhere like the weapon range mod but you will see that as well here coming to the end of this video we are now finishing with some changes in the config files the things i want to show you are how to change the fps limits how to disable the displayed names of uh, dead mobs when you can't loot them anymore or they don't have any loot inside. Uh, number three would be how to configure mods because some of them can only be configured in the config files. Then how to disable the function to jump with the right mouse click button which is standardized and then you can just use it for other mods. And number five is how to change the definitive edition into English. So for the last part of the video we need our gothic folder again. Just go inside it, then inside the systems folder. Then we need three files here. This would be the definitive edition ini, the gothic ini and the system pack ini. If you don't use the definitive edition ini, of course you don't need it. Um, but yeah, for me it will be this one. So starting with the FPS limit, just uh, open that one. Search for FPS and then you have it here, parameters FPS limit. Type the value of your monitor or your desired value just here and you should be good to go. For the normal users, for the normal version, it's uh, similar but you need to go to the system pack any. Then here are several ones with FPS so we might go down a little bit where it is. Then it's here, FPS limit. Uh, set here the value you want, like 140, 120, whatever it is. After that you should be also good to go. Then for number two, we have it, uh, for me it's right below, but it might be somewhere else. So just search for height focus. You need to put the value one here and it is also explained here again, if you want to use it. If not, just leave it at zero. Then uh, going to number three, how to how to set up mods, because some of them can, like I said before, also uh, only be configured here in the Scofic any. So you just go here, like uh, if you have mana rack or something, uh, you can the tick rate, the per mil, the threshold, uh, you can change all, all those values here. If you want to use uh, quick loot with, uh, for, with a mouse right button, for example, you can use it here. And yeah, you should be also ready to go. Then we have uh, number four. This one's a bit tricky, um, if you want to disable the right mouse click jump, which is uh, standard, then we need to do a few steps. Um, just create in your systems folder a new text file. Oh, we have a double one here, we don't need that, just open it. You need to put that value inside. I will also leave uh, this value below the video in the section so you can copy it and also the name you need to put for it. But yeah, just put that in and uh, just save it. I don't need to save it, I already have it so you can delete that one already. And yeah, here it is. Uh, you need to name it znowrmbjump.patch and like I uh, showed you before with the value inside. But yeah, I will leave you both uh, in the section below so you can just copy paste them. Uh, as a second part for, for the right mouse click, we need to go in the, into the system pack in here again. And then we search for no direct X. And then this value is normally false and you need to change it uh, to A1. And then you, you have that uh, all set up and the right mouse click is not uh, jumping anymore. 
But uh, it's important to know if you use the renderer for the shaders, uh, you can't use your mouse inside it if you have put that value in. So if you want to change uh, settings inside the, inside the in-game shader with this opening with F11, you should do that before. So for the last and the fifth part, we are now changing the language of the definitive edition into English. Just go to this website, I will leave this link also below, um, go to here, Definitive Edition v 5 scripts, patch in, just download that. If you do so, just unpack the file and then you should have it like that. And now we will rename it, the v 5 we need to do a 2, two out of it, so we have Definitive Edition v 2 2 scripts, patch in mod. Then uh, copy this file, go to your gothic folder, then go to data and mod VDF. And then just paste the file here. I have it here already. So we have that. Um, then we need our definitive edition again, which is in our systems folder. Just open this one. And here we have the scripts uh, script file. We delete this one and we replace it with the, the name of the new file we have added. So we have definitive edition v22 scripts page en.mod. And now just close the file and save it and we should be done for this part as well. And now we can have a closer look in game and yeah, finish it up. here we are in game finally. So far everything looks uh, fine. By the way, if you have patch menu the mod installed, you can look into some of the mods here. The other ones should be lookable by here. Union and plugins. We have here Z utilities and advanced inventory. The both of these are high recommendations from me, but we will look into advanced inventory if it, if it's working uh, when we are in game. So one more thing: if you go here into video, or just by pressing F11, you have here the shader menu. If you want to do some settings, you can do that here, like uh, draw distances and the uh, frame limit is also set here. Like if you're locked anyway by 60 after doing the settings before, maybe this is the one blocking you. Just change this one as well, and then we can go and have a look in game. Okay, so far so good. The game looks like it's running smoothly, we have no crashes. Let's check the settings. Yep, looks English. Here as well, and the inventory is also working. We have it all nice and clean, categorized like a gothic tree. You can also eat from here, yes, perfect. It seems also like it's working. Uh, let's have a little chat with the guard. I want to see the dialog box if that is also working. But yeah, so far everything looks uh, very good to me, I like it so far. I just would like to go more into detail about the, all the mods I have installed and the ones I found on the internet, but I guess i um, running out of time for this one to not make this video too long. Uh, but yeah, I will go in the next video we'll make, I will go more into detail about uh, all the mods I have installed and really showcase them for you. Uh, if you don't want to miss that video or just uh, want to support the channel, just uh, press the subscribe button, guys. Uh, if you did like the video, if you enjoyed it, press the like button, guys, and we will see us in the next one. Peace.